Every year, the United States gives nearly $3 billion in aid to Israel in the form of military and economic grants. Our country also consistently supports Israel on international issues such as Palestine. The strong alliance and bond between Israel and the United States has been a constant in American foreign policy for decades. Even before the creation of the Jewish state in 1948, Americans have agreed with the goals of Zionists and voiced their approval. In 1917, in response to the British support for, of a Jewish state in Palestine, Woodrow Wilson stated that, In Palestine shall be laid the foundations of a Jewish commonwealth. On May 14, 1948, Israel declared its independence. America, as a telling sign of its commitment to the Jewish state, was the first nation to recognize the new state of Israel, a mere 11 minutes after the declaration was made. Despite America's willingness to support Israel's cause morally, there was reluctance to provide military support to the fledgling nation. This was because American government officials feared that giving arms to Israel could lead to the rapid escalation of the arms race with the Soviet Union in the Middle East. Nevertheless, Israel was recognized as being an important ally to retain. As a democracy in the Middle East, they were able to actively block Soviet expansion into the region. As the Cold War continued on through the 1960s, the United States began to increase military aid to the Jewish state. The first significant change came in 1962, when the Kennedy administration sold Hawk anti-aircraft missiles to Israel. The outcome of the 1967 war, also known as the Six-Day War, would dramatically change strategic cooperation and financial aid between the United States and Israel. In the war, Israel convincingly defeated Egyptian, Syrian, and Jordanian forces. The country gained new land and established itself as a dominant military power. The United States began to aid Israel militarily with the purpose of further advancing Israel's dominance in the Middle East. President Johnson sold phantom jets to Israel, which solidified the power of the Israeli Air Force. It was not until Reagan's presidency in the 1980s that the strategic power of Israel was fully recognized. Israel occupied important land in the Middle East that bordered on the Mediterranean Sea and was a singular democracy in the area. In 1985, a memorandum of understanding was reached between the two nations that reaffirmed the bond on account of the cooperation needed to deter the Soviet threat. With the end of the Cold War in 1990, it would seem that the alliance of Israel was no longer as vital to America. Yet military aid continued in the billions of dollars, and Israel was considered to be just as important. The reason for the continued alliance and American support of Israel is founded on more than a fear of communism. Common moral values have brought the two nations closer since Israel's statehood in 1948. The fact that Israel has a democratic government instantly attracts the United States. Israel also cherishes the rights and values laid down by the U.S. Constitution, such as free speech and assembly, and respect for individual rights. The shared morals have created what is often described as a natural and genuine bond between Israel and America. Several presidents, including Obama, have acknowledged that common ideals give the true foundation to the American-Israeli relationship. The United States and Israel share interests, but we also share those human values that Shimon spoke about. A commitment to human dignity. A belief that freedom is a right that is given to all of God's children. An experience that shows us that democracy is the one and only form of government that can truly respond to the aspirations of citizens. Israel's support for America on most international issues reveals the extent of the relationship. In the UN, Israel is a nation that most consistently votes the same way as the US. Shared morals, however, are not the only reason that our country continues to support Israel. The pro-Israel lobby has a massive influence in the way that the US conducts its policies on Israel and how much aid is given to the tiny nation. The American-Israel Public Affairs Committee APAC for short, is the most powerful of the Israel lobby groups. A grassroots organization with 100,000 members, it is also considered to be the second strongest lobby group in America, behind only the AARP. Because of the long-time work of APAC 
and other similar lobby groups, Israel is rarely a disputed topic in Congress. It is generally agreed that supporting Israel is the best course of action. The power of the pro-Israel lobby is so tremendous that it is able to sway the election of senators who openly support or hinder its cause of ensuring that America retains strong ties with Israel. It has been said that, you can't have an Israeli policy other than what APAC gives you around here. Nevertheless, American strategic interests are also a cause for the seemingly unbreakable bond between the two countries, especially after the events of September 11th and the war on terrorism in the Middle East. Most policymakers in the American government believe that Israel is currently advancing America's strategic interest in the Middle East. That the two countries have so many shared national interests explains the thinking of these policymakers. These interests include preventing other nations from obtaining nuclear weapons, combating terrorism, promoting economic development, and continuing the free flow of oil and gas at a reasonable price. Israel has proved to be of great importance through its role in counterterrorism and by the military intelligence that it provides. For example, in 2004, Israel passed photographic evidence to America that Syria had made enormous strides towards going hot with a plutonium-producing reactor. Israel and the United States have increased the levels of military cooperation and joint research conducted. America has assisted in the construction of a missile defense system and other new military technologies. In 2010, a joint exercise named Juniper Cobra was carried out that involved 1,000 troops. It was a simulation of possible events with the intent of better preparing the two nations to respond to a crisis together. Military officials in America have stated that, with such significant change in the region, we must continue to forge an even closer relationship. The complex alliance between America and Israel has developed over the decades into one of the strongest between any two nations. America continues to support Israel because of the shared values, the common ideals, that create a bond between the two nations. Strategic and shared interests also play a role in the continued American support for Israel. This combination of factors has shaped the alliance into one that is unique throughout the world because of the range of cooperation and steadfast commitment between the two nations.